The back-to-back -back Turkey and Syria earthquakes have been recorded as one of the deadliest quakes in recent history. And in this video, you will be shocked to find out exactly what happened. Turns out, a Dutch researcher had unfortunately predicted it would happen and wrote about it three days before the catastrophe. It was an alarmingly accurate prediction. Because unlike hurricanes and temperatures, earthquakes cannot be predicted because rock movements underground vary. And currently, we don't even have the technology to understand how these rocks behave. But see, there are theories that animals can predict earthquakes. Like this dog who tried to warn everyone in a town in Turkey at 4 in the morning, a few minutes before the earthquake hit. Until it happened. A 7.8 magnitude earthquake shocked the region. People who were up during the quake tried to help save as many people as they could, like this nurse who quickly ran to save the children in the hospital. It was followed by several aftershocks. And the next deadly earthquake of 7.5 magnitude, nine hours after the first. So many buildings, even new ones, collapsed, which revealed poor construction and building code violations, and areas ravaged by the civil war that fought to keep standing finally lost to mother nature. And from the rubble, people struggled to get out alive. This little girl even managed to save her little brother from getting crushed, and this baby who was born right in the middle of the devastation survived. But sadly, the mother didn't. But the search and rescuers and even civilians are still determined to save each and every survivor, despite the many aftershocks that could also harm them. As buildings were flattened and strong aftershocks continued. A moment of relief and joy though, as teams pulled a three-year-old from the rubble. <laughs> Those who were stuck for a long time were able to film themselves asking for help. Bak tavan üstümüzde. Bak. Borular var. Yapma abi. Her şey üstümüzde abla. Depreme aldık. Adem. <laughs> and many victims did miraculously survive many days after this tragedy. And two brothers aged 8 and 15 also rescued after 181 hours. <laughs> The aftermath of this earthquake is heartbreaking, Night Fam. It's truly horrible. People could have been more prepared if only there was a better way to predict them accurately. If only we had the instincts these animals have. But we also need to be realistic. Only recently 100 people died in India because a bridge collapsed. Why? Well, because the construction company didn't follow the rules. No one took care of safety of the citizens. This is similar in Turkey and Syria, where many buildings have been constructed wrongly and that is why so many people so quickly died. Building codes are there for a reason. 40,000 people have died. How many deaths could have been prevented if the buildings were ready for this earthquake. We will never know. But what we know is that this unbelievable number is truly, truly saddening and my heart goes out to all those people who lost their lives and also all these families who have been affected and 
misplaced it's truly sad please help me share this video let's reach as many people as possible i will add links to to fundraisers for you to to choose from the trusted ones where your money can actually help people and we will also see what can we do with project night for philanthropy in that area to help those affected love you all and I will see you tomorrow.